Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see young Galadriel and Elrond and Sure. Um, one thing uh Kelly Lane Brindor. Johnson One thing Lane Johnson pointed out and I was talking to him about it is uh have Galadriel all like armored up, all Joan of Arky style, and uh, she never really was like that. Galadriel, yeah, see, she I'm wasn't not... like a warrior. She, they say that she. He said like in in like some of the Tolkien's notes and stuff. He says that he, she fought alongside her people, but um, not quite like that because she was like. She is considered their like, you know, like like how you have a lot of like like your wise people, your elders, your whatever, the people that you kind of want to keep safe from things like that. Um, so it wouldn't, doesn't really make sense why she would be full tilt warrior like that. But he said like through the lens of like twenty twenty two stuff, it makes sense that they'd be like, hey, we're gonna make her strong warrior lady. But sure. Yeah, I can get that. I I can get behind that. Like, it's a different age. She's younger. She's not developed into her regal status really. So it's like, sure, she's yeah. kind of a grunt right now, working her way up. Right, but but she's always kind of been the kind of like she is in the Lord of the Rings movies. She was kind of always like that. Is the thing that's what. Anyway, from from what I grasped from what Lane was talking about, because I'm no Lord of the Rings expert. But, right, um, but this is taking place like thousands of years before even yeah, the Hobbit and yeah. Lord of the Rings happened. So, but that's why. But that was she's the young. Point. She's, she's always kind of been like she is in Lord of the Rings, though. She is that kind of ethereal, um, you know, being that isn't an outright warrior, but like she does in Fellowship when she turns into the spooky, scary thing is when she's like ready to fuck shit up. Yeah, when she turns into like, a, or she passed the test of like being corrupted by yeah. the ring. Yeah, she, yeah. That's before. Like, this is all before the rings are even forged. I think this no, is like I know. during. I know. Them yeah, being it's made. before the rings. But that's my point. Being is like even then she was still like she is in the movies we've seen. This is. It's it's, it's a small thing that doesn't matter. And I've, I have never read this in or like me either. I tried one time. Of, anything outside of the Hobbit or Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings books, so I tried one time and and like it's it's tough. It, it, <laughs> yeah, like I'm it sure takes, it would be it takes interesting. It just seems like how it's presented is a little too dense yeah. for me. Very. Well, it's it, reading the Bible, basically. Lord of the Rings itself is really dense. But there's so like a the there's like a cohesive like story in the Silmarillion. That. It's like a bunch of random yeah. stories that are. It's just of... shit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's just a bunch of shit. It is. It's it's basically like the start of yeah the beginning of time. Like this one god above all creates all these things in harmony, yeah. and they there's a discord and like all this random stuff, and that causes you know yeah. events to happen later on that kind of ripple I, out. That's what it was. It's because. Sorry, this is kind of going back to the Galadriel things because she was she was part of the White Council, right? With with like Gandalf and like Saruman and shit like that, and uh, like that's kind of how her role kind of always was. That's that's what I was trying to say that I just remembered. But yeah, so yeah, it's it's the Silmarillion. Yeah, it's all all the the those shenanigans. And it's like. I've tried. I tried once. I should try again because I was a teenager when I tried reading it. It was tough. If you dig lore, but, you'll dig that. <laughs> I know. I, uh... I know. It's just I already had trouble enough reading Lord of the Rings, where like I stopped for years at the point early on in Fellowship, where they're walking through the forest and Tolkien just describes every fucking blade of grass, and I was just like, oh, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> yeah, if you can read Game of Thrones, where it's like. There's a ton yeah. of names, you know, being thrown at you. Yeah. It's basically yeah. the same thing. It's just a ton of names, and you're like, yeah. all right, who's that again? All right, who's this? All right. Yeah. But, yeah, I, yeah. I just hope it's good. Because, um, I'm, regardless, if it's good, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, Lane was bringing up how he's, he's like, I don't know if I like Elrond's hair. 
I was like, yeah, he kind of has the, <laughs> my dad's a lawyer haircut. I don't even <laughs> know who Elrond is in the trailer. <laughs> That's the Robert. And it was, this something. was before the trailer came out. It was just they'd released character pictures of everybody. Well, the, I'm just saying. Of a like, bunch of people. Watching that trailer, I didn't specifically know that that was Galadriel. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, just sure. seeing that that actress in that trailer would have been like, oh, it's it's another elf character. Yeah. Right. So I, I don't necessarily look at that trailer and be like, ooh, that, that's that person. That's that person. I'm more like, no. oh, I, do, I know who none of these characters are, and I'll be introduced to them as I watch. When I, There's only when like I look at the actors' faces. I'm like, oh yeah, they're playing an elf. They're playing an elf. They're playing. An oh elf. yeah, <laughs> you can tell just by looking at them. You're like, yeah, that's an elf boy. I the I just like I I honestly was like really r- very much pleasantly surprised with how good that Reacher show was, and I yeah. it was completely on a whim that I watched it because I'm typically not the like tough army dude kind of yeah kind of entertainment like a rambo or whatever every so often is fun but this was good it was a lot more like law enforcement type procedural type stuff than just like good at army i'm good at army yeah it was good i just just posted a picture of elrond in the uh that's elrond yeah yeah, I never would have known that. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying with the, my dad's a lawyer haircut? Oh, yeah. That's that's like <laughs> Miami spring break. Like, what the fuck you say to me, bro? Do you know who my dad is? That's like yeah, tennis that's... tennis champ right there. The <laughs> fucking short sleeve button-up shirt and like salmon-colored shorts. And shit. <laughs> yep, a polo. It's a slip-on sh- slip on shoes with no it's socks a polo on. Shirt. Shirt. <laughs> yep, with, with flip-flops and fucking salmon-colored shorts. Yeah, those board yeah, shorts. Sunglasses on top of his head. Yep. Yep. Solo cup in hand. Yep. For fucking bro, butter knob. <laughs> Puka shells. <laughs> <laughs>